A magnet is a material or object that generates a magnetic field. This invisible force is responsible for the most remarkable property of magnets, their ability to attract or repel other magnetic materials. There are two main types of magnets, permanent magnets and electromagnets. Permanent magnets are objects made from materials that are naturally magnetized, or have been magnetized and retain their magnetic field even without an external field. On the other hand, electromagnets are created by wrapping a coil of wire around a ferromagnetic core, and passing an electric current through the wire. The current generates a magnetic field, but the magnetism disappears once the current is turned off. Magnetic field is produced in two ways, by the movement of electric charges, or by changing electric fields. The movement of charges could be the flow of electric current through a wire, the motion of electrons around a nucleus within an atom, or the spinning of electrons about its own axis. Every substance is composed of tiny units called atoms. Each atom has electrons, which carry electric charges. These electrons spin about their own axis, and revolve around the nucleus of the atom. The orbital motion of these electrons around the nucleus, acts like a current loop, and causes each electron to act like a microscopic magnet, called magnetic moment. The spin motion also produces a magnetic field, and acts like a tiny magnet. In most materials, these little magnetic fields point in random directions and cancel each other out. But in some materials, like permanent magnets, the magnetic moments tend to line up, making a much stronger, overall magnetic field. To magnetize a material, we place it in a strong external magnetic field. This field exerts a force on the atomic magnetic moments, causing them to align in the direction of the external field. One end of the material becomes the North Pole, while the other end becomes the South Pole. In this way a material becomes magnetized. The process by which a material becomes magnetized, acquiring magnetic properties is called magnetization. When the external magnetic field is removed, most of the materials lose their magnetization, while some materials retain their magnetic field even after the removal of the external magnetic field. Material which can be easily magnetized and demagnetized are called soft magnetic material. Such materials are suitable for making the core of a transformer. While materials which are difficult to magnetize and demagnetized are called hard magnetic material. Such materials are suitable for making permanent magnets. Magnetic materials are classified based on their response to an external magnetic field. They can be categorized into three main types, ferromagnetic, paramagnetic, and diamagnetic. Ferromagnetic materials are strongly attracted to magnets. They can be permanently magnetized. Naturally, in a ferromagnetic material, the magnetic moments of individual atoms in a tiny region, are all aligned in the same direction. The group of such atoms is called a domain. In an unmagnetized piece of iron, these domains are all pointing in random directions, so their magnetic fields cancel each other out. When a piece of iron is placed in an external field, all the domains are lined up in the same direction, so their magnetic fields add up, and create a strong permanent magnetic field, and retain their magnetic properties even after the removal of the external magnetic field. Iron, nickel, cobalt, and their alloys are classic examples of ferromagnetic materials. Permanent magnets are made from ferromagnetic materials, that have been treated to keep these tiny magnetic fields aligned. This is often done by exposing the material to a strong magnetic field during manufacturing. Nodymium magnets are currently the strongest type of permanent magnet commonly available. 
They are composed of nadimium, iron, and boron, and are widely used in various electronic devices, such as loudspeakers, electric motors, hard drives and MRI machines. Paramagnetic materials are a class of materials that are weakly attracted to magnetic fields. Unlike ferromagnetic materials, which can become permanent magnets, paramagnetic materials lose their magnetism when the external field is removed. Examples include aluminum, platinum, and oxygen. Diamagnetic materials are weakly repelled by magnetic fields. This repulsion arises from the way electrons within their atoms respond to an external magnetic field. Diamagnetic materials do not retain magnetic properties once the external field is removed. Common examples include copper, gold, and water. I hope this explanation helps you understand more about magnetic materials. For related videos click the i button or follow the link in the description. Thank you for watching.